In many respects, London is the mecca of fashion and style. For the well-groomed man, there's a new hairdressing establishment opened in Chelsea. It's called Bona Buffon. It's a sort of clip joint. <laughs> I popped in there the other day for a trim. Hello? Anybody there? Come in. Je suis Julien. This is mon ami Sandy. Hello, it's Mr. Horn, Miss Paul. Oh, yes, you remember us, don't you? Yes, you're vividly etched on my memory. I just uh, popped in for a haircut. Oh, it's a bit like shutting the stable door after the horse is gone, isn't it? <laughs> Hardly worth his taking his hat off for, is it? Well, right. In the chair, Julian will take you. He tortures the Ryan. Lovely. He's got the fingers for it. Oh. <laughs> Hands of an artist. Oh, good. When he's done that, would you ask him to do my hair? Oh. <laughs> he's very bold. Yes. Very bold. As a billiard ball. <laughs> now, uh, what style do you think I should have? Well, I mean, you're a bit limited, aren't you? Mm. I mean, you don't lend yourself to the shaggy look, do you? <laughs> no, you haven't got the wherewithal. Oh, he hasn't. He hasn't no. got the wherewithal. No, no, let's face it. I mean, look, I mean, he's got more hair in his ears than he's got. <laughs> no, no, the best we can do with what you've got on top is to huff on it and give it a quick once over with a duster. <laughs> What do you think about the sides, though, Sam? We might do something shush for the sides, eh, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> he's got the ears for oh. all. Yes, good ears he's got. Mm. They nearly match, too. Yeah. <laughs> but his nape. Oh, yes. I mean. What can you do with a nape? It's a naff nape. It's a naff nape. No, what can you do with a nape? No, the best we can do is to back comb his eyebrows. <laughs> How do you think he'd take with the bouffant eyebrow? Oh, fabe, fabe. Or, or you could have flick-ups with a blue wince. Trey distingue. Very, that's oh. true. Uh, no, no. No, I think all in all, his best plan is to have a toupee. Have a toupe. The hard front toupe, you mm. see. Indistinguishable from the real thing. We make them for all the stars, you know. Mm. Oh, Jimmy Savile, wears one of ours. We didn't make it for him, made it for Kathy Kirby, but she lends it to him in exchange for a plug in the <laughs> Beautiful job, made it out of Dusty Springfield's clippings. Oh, <laughs> they are. I mean, they all come in here for their wigs, don't it's they? True, true. There's Mick Jagger, mm. uh, Edwin Braden. Know him, great airy thing. <laughs> Ringo Starr. Let's see what wigs we've got in stock. Show him the wigs, Julia. Yes. Now, um, could I interest you in a flame red shoulder length wig? Well, not me, but you might interest the chief of police. <laughs> He's been sarky. I thought so. <laughs> to him, Jules. Yes, there is. Well, let's face it, you've got to overlook it. I mean, he's at a funny age. Oh, well, do you want an Irish or don't you? <laughs> Irish jeans. Yes, I know, I know. Yes, I must admit, uh, a wig might do something for me, but the price has always put me off. I mean, they're rather expensive, aren't they? If you have your real hair, that comes out about 75 guineas. Then you have your nylon washable at 20, or your horse hair at about 15. <laughs> I wouldn't advise your horse hair. Mm, if you go out in the rain with it, you come home looking like Ken Dodd. <laughs> For 15 quid, it's quite reasonable. Still, still too dear. Oh, what can you do with him, Sand? Oh, it's great. Just give him a sack full of sweepings and a tube of glue and let him do it himself. <laughs> I'm just sick. No, I, I'd really much sooner stay as I am. All I want is an ordinary haircut. Right, pass the clip of Jules. Yeah. Right. Sure that's okay. Step out of yourself. Oh, yeah. All done. That'll be 33 and 6. <laughs> what? 33 and 6 just for a haircut? Oh, no, no. It's only 3 and 6 for the cutting of the hair. The 30 shillings of the search fee. Yeah. <laughs>